Hi everyone, this is Achal Soni. Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then do share them further and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the hex maps. Um, we get standard map like this in Tableau. Uh, there is a way by which you can convert this map into a more visually appealing look uh, by using the hexagonal shapes. So uh, we'll discuss how we can implement this. But first, un let's understand the standard map and what is the actual need of converting this into a hex map. So in the standard uh, map, you can see that uh, the states which have got uh, larger areas, they drive more uh, visual focus of yours. Um, so states like Texas, Montana, California, they have got a um, larger area in comparison to the states which are on the extreme right like New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland. So whenever you have a situation uh, where you want to work irrespective of the geographic location and size of your estates um, and you want to give a new uh, modern look to your map which looks visually appealing then just go ahead and convert it into a hex map. The second advantage of using hex map is uh, the Alaska effect. So Alaska lies somewhere here up there and what happens when um, uh, Alaska is there in your visualization this maps a map becomes small so in that case to normalize the size and um, location uh, the build of your entire map you can transform it into a, a new map using shapes so that is another reason and third reason is uh, it, it looks visually appealing as well uh, it uh, looks engaging but only when you have to work irrespective of your um, geographical areas and locations of your states. Now um, just see these lines. I've drawn these lines over here for you to um, understand that how these states have been actually marked over here. Uh, so for this uh, we use an excel sheet, a different excel sheet which comprises the name of these states, a row column um, and a column column means um, it defines that where your states are actually positioned. So this can be this is the third row and this is the first position. So the this is three one position. So and so on. Uh, this way these states have been marked. Um, but here geographically as you see that states are not in a straight line. So in that case um, uh, I have drawn this line for you to, uh, you know, uh, basically understand uh, which uh, states lie in the same line over here. So just pause the video, take a moment and understand this. Uh, I'll switch to Tableau for the implementation. First, uh, just see this map. You can see Alaska looks uh, extremely bigger here in comparison to the entire map. And um, so this is why perhaps uh, you may not be able to convey the right information. Uh, so just take your call. I leave that on you when you would like to use those hex maps. Uh, let's Let's uh, switch to implementation. So for that, we'll have to first understand the uh, hex maps. Now, um, this hex map file, um, I have downloaded this from uh, this blog post called as how to use hex style maps to eliminate the Alaska effect by Kevin Taylor. He has explained the entire process and the need for this map. Uh, so you just need to go to point one join your data over here the file is given just download this file um, and for hex shapes uh, in the step number four you have the inverted hex png we'll discuss this further but i'm telling you the source of these files now um, let's switch in here um, We'll need to pull in that Excel file. So I'll add a file over here. 
hex map plots okay now i'll bring this over here and build a relationship between these two on the state field now what you need to do is bring the column to columns row field to rows you have a scatter plot over here let's go to analysis and remove the aggregates let's switch to entire view just note that we don't have a state in place for now so i will just bring in this to detail there are some null values let's ignore them for now um, now you can see that um, it somewhere resembles the map but in an inverted format so what we'll have to do is reverse the axis the row axis uh so that yes we have it in right shape um now we need the hexagon um shape so what we'll have to do is just go to shape folder sorry from here uh and then um you won't get this hex map until unless you have specifically um placed that hex file that shape file in your shapes folder of tableau repository if you don't know how to do it i will i have created a video on how to use custom shapes i will drop the dis, uh, link in description just go through it and it should be easier for you to accomplish this so i'm using this hex file for now assigning the palette and click ok let's increase the size okay and let's bring in sales to change the color okay you can use abbreviations as well to show the labels uh, you'll have to just work on the alignment okay and let's work on size a little bit okay Alright, uh, let's work on the formatting um, so that it looks better. Alright, let's remove the header and let's increase the size of the shape. Yeah, and let's check allow labels to overlap other marks and let's remove nulls. Alright, so the last important thing with respect to uh, hex maps is if you compare the region wise distribution of the states in comparison to the standard map, then you might not find uh, exact similarities. Uh, some states may lie here and there uh, in hex maps uh, just because uh, their row and column values are as such. Uh, so just note this thing that it works irrespective of the geographical location um, and uh, the size in area. That's all for this video. Thank you.